Hi, I'm John Perry with IPC here with this week's IPC Technical Question of the Week. This week we're going to be answering a long sought question which is how to understand uh, acceptance testing frequency with an IPC 6012. Uh, IPC 6012 states in Section 4.2 that people shall perform acceptance testing in accordance with Table 4.3. That's about as far as we go. There's a lot of confusion as to exactly what needs to be done, how many samples need to be evaluated to ensure that somebody's uh, lot of production boards is ready for shipment out to the facility. What we're going to do here is show an example where we start with uh, our example today is going to be a production lot of 10 panels, each panel containing 10 printed boards for a total of 100 printed boards, and this is in a class 3 production environment. Uh, our first example, we're actually going to have two, relates to inspecting for nicks, dents, or pinholes uh, in printed boards. And again, this is with a class three. So to test, to determine what we need to evaluate, we see that uh, for a class three, our AQL level is 2.5. Now given that we have a production board as our sample, and that the remarks column states per board, we know that the number of samples to be evaluated within a lot are determined at the printed board level. So as we go through these examples, we're going to see that this last column in Table 4.3 is really the key to understanding how many samples need to be evaluated in a lot for your lot to be considered acceptable per IPC 6012. Knowing that information, we're going to take this 2.5 level and we're going to go over to Table 4-2 in IPC 6012. Now, we're going to select a lot size of 91 to 150 because we're dealing with 100 printed boards. And as you remember, we're being evaluated at the printed board level and not the, uh, not the panel level. So given that we have a, a lot of 100 printed boards, we're going to carry this over to class 3 and see that for an AQL level of 2.5, our sample size is 11. This means that out of 100 printed boards, we have to evaluate 11 production printed boards for nicks, dents, and pinholes. Now we're going to do the second example and go back to Table 4.3. Now we're evaluating testing acceptable levels of etchback or negative etchback. Now here we see that if we go to Class 3, that our AQ level is, is 0.1. However, Given that the sample coupon size is a test coupon and in the final remarks column we state per panel, we know that the number of samples to be evaluated within a lot are determined at the panel level as opposed to the printed board level. This means that if we take this 0.1 AQ level of, uh, from Table 4.3 for our Class 3 product and then go to Table 4.2 we're going to select a lot size of 9 to 15 because we're dealing with 10 panels. We're not sampling by board, we're sampling by panels. So our lot size is now 9 to 15. We have 10 panels. We therefore go over and locate the class 3 AQL level of 0 0.1. And we see that it now says it has a double asterisk. A double asterisk denotes that you inspect the entire lot. So in this evaluation, where we have 10 panels, all 10 panels have to need to be evaluated for an acceptable level of edge back. So we will, in effect, select 10 coupons, either A and B or A, and, or A slash B, from every one of those 10 panels and evaluate it for edge back and negative edge back. So what we've demonstrated here is that the remarks column in Table 4.3 is really the key to understanding how many samples we need to evaluate in a lot to determine whether or not that lot uh, is acceptable for shipment to the assembly house.